one. Okay, number one is the giant potato. Oh, we got to go back to a previous episode of this podcast. If you're new to the podcast, first of all, thank you for subscribing. In the archives, we always put a link to the archives if you click the show notes. So all of that, if you just, all you got to remember is show notes that page, boom, podcast stuff, links to stuff. But we had a story earlier. The couple who found this guy was hoeing in the yard. He and his uh, wife found a giant potato. They didn't know at first what it was. And they dug it up. He was like, I think this is a potato. There's only one way to find out. This mysterious thing I just dug up. I'll take a bite. And he did. And he confirmed through taste testing it was, in fact, a potato. And then it was so big, they got curious and they looked up and they, wow, we have a world record potato on our hands. They contacted the Guinness Book of World Records. Wonderful story if you could stop there. But it turns to heartbreak. The potato was actually poisonous, wasn't, a, wasn't edible, and now that man is, no, I'm just kidding. But the giant potato that we talked about in a previous episode did not break the world record. The Guinness Book people say it is not a potato. Here's the part of the letter they wrote back to Colin. He's the one. He was the fellow <laughs> tasted the. I'm just going to taste it. Honey, I'm just going to taste it. Then we'll know for sure if it's a potato. Dear Colin, sadly, the specimen is not a potato and is, in fact, the tuber of a type of gourd. For this reason, we do, unfortunately, have to disqualify the application. I don't know how to... 